Marquise Hughes was a 21-year-old young man that was gunned down in the city of Chicago. To every story, there's a backstory to help you further understand why things happen. These are the stories of the Wicked Streets of Chicago. Cash comes from that AMG set, also known as the Fredo Boys. They can serve the Vice Lords. You can find them from 16th to 18th, Avis to Springfield. Cash started off a little rough around the edges like the average shorty from the hood, doing the stuff that kids do. But at a certain age, normally around 14 or 15, kind of like the freshman year in high school, things tend to get a lot more dangerous because guns get involved. So Cash made the smart move and took online classes and got his high school diploma at Penn Foster High School. Enrolling in Penn Foster allowed him to stay out of harm's way and still get a diploma. Sadly, in Chicago, going to and from school can be very dangerous. Cash will end up getting locked up in the county sometime between late 2021 and early 2022. He wouldn't do much time as he would get out October 6th 2022 and after his release he would really begin to move he started going crazy with his clothing line when cash got out he made his mind up to change his life and become something from there he really began moving fast. Cash was written out of space in the building to open up his clothing store. He also partnered with some of the biggest names in North Lawndale to give away 100 plus book bags for kids going back to school. He was also starting a nonprofit organization called Scholars Not Savages. The main objective of the nonprofit was to focus primarily on the impact that the people have on the youth. He also collaborated with ANF to launch a mental health and gun violence awareness program. Not to mention, he was working on starting a trucking company. Shorty was really moving fast and becoming successful. And we all know that being successful while living in the city of Chicago is a recipe for disaster. On April 15th, 2024, at 1.30 a.m., Cash went over to catch a sale in an apartment building on the 1600 block of 82nd Street. Ironically, only a block away from where FBG Cash was killed. Something ended up going wrong. Cash ended up shot in the chest. The unidentified man, 21, was in the hallway of an apartment building in the 1600 block of West 82nd Street around 1.20 a.m. when someone fired shots, police said. A man was shot and killed in an Auburn Gresham apartment building Monday morning, police said. Quees Hughes, 21, was in the hallway of an apartment building in the 1600 block of West 82nd Street about 1.20 a.m. when someone fired shots, striking him in the chest. Police in the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office said he was taken to Advocate Christ Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. No one is in custody and Area 2 detectives are investigating. Some people think that this was a botched robbery. Others think that cash was set up because nobody in their right mind will get up to go catch any type of sale at 1.30 in the morning in the city of Chicago unless it was by somebody that they knew. And I definitely agree with that. I think that whoever killed Cash may have knew him. Hold on. Who hurt? Not me. Who hurt, baby? Fuck it, come out. 
Come on, y'all. Come on, do that, y'all. You want balloon today? Come on, Ice. Hey, okay. Everybody, you got here for cash. Y'all know what's going on, man. I know everybody hates you. You know, we had to be like this, but shit. Everybody know how cash get down, man. He know everybody who had us right out here. He a trendsetter. He a creator. He a star. He a family man. Everybody knows him. He's the best. Nay, don't go too far, Street. Stay right here. And oh, I can tell you what I can tell you what I can tell you what I can tell you it's in our last goodbye. I'm not letting my food. It's in the last. It's a see you later. Right. It's a see you later. On the count of three, everybody go say. What you want to say? No, they're my best friend. No, they're my best friend. One. And I think that what we can learn from this episode of Wicked Streets of Chicago is this. We've heard this same story coming out of the city of Chicago a hundred times. This story where a guy starts off a little rough around the edges, gang banging, doing whatever he's doing, and something dramatic happens or he catches a break. And then he starts being successful. He's on the rise. And right before he makes it over the hump, Somebody takes his life. Why is that? I've come to the conclusion that when it comes to hood people, they don't like to see somebody that they grew up with making it big. Somebody that they grew up with doing the things that they feel like they can't do or never had the chance to do. So the hate is inevitable. My thing is we all have the same 24 hours in a day. We all have the same opportunities. You put your pants on one leg at a time, just like I do. Instead of hating, try to build something and be a part of something. And another thing, stop posting your success on the internet. Cash did everything right when he began to try to get himself together. Except lead a city and not post none of his success on the internet. Somebody was looking, watching, and waiting for the perfect time to steal that all away from him. Cash had a family, man. He had a child. You know, he was actually a brand new dad. And now... His child has to grow up without a father. And one last thing. Just because you decide to wave the white flag, get out of the streets, and clean up your life, just because you done with the game, don't mean everybody else is. We got to stop thinking that because we quit, everybody else is quit. Because people don't forget that hurt that you caused. That time you made fun of their dead homie. That time that you slid on one of their cousins. That pain will forever be there. So I always remember, if you decide to leave the streets, go ahead and leave whatever street, town, city, and gang that you pledge allegiance to. Because if not, I guarantee you that your past transgressions will come back to haunt you. This has been another episode of Wicked Streets of Chicago. It's your boy, SNTV. Until next time, I'm out.